the Mopey Pro just arrived at the shop. Shane, how excited are you? I'm pretty excited. <laughs> this is long days coming where uh, we can not wait for Chris to turn the movie on and balance it for 40 to 50 seconds. Right. Uh, as well as. Uh, well, I think you still have to balance it. Yeah, we have, you to, still balance have to balance it, it. But it takes a lot less time uh, with your all your fussing and minutia, <laughs> as well as. Uh, your fussing and minutia on the uh, the cables. You're like the cable Nazi. Uh, We're gonna be going back into the past because of the movie. Yes. It's a time travel device. But they just haven't revealed that yet. You wanna you wanna operate on this shot? Okay, cause I can't handle this. This is too much. <laughs> Got a very special package that just arrived. Chris Hare, he's my uh, uh, Movi Tech. I'm really excited right now. Yeah, it, it, this is like when it came in. I called him up on the phone. And he goes, uh, "I'll be there in four minutes." <laughs> I'm like, "But Chris, you're nowhere near Burbank." He took a jet here when I was five or six, and I got my Hot Wheels. This is how he's feeling. These are right my Hot now. Wheels. <laughs> I don't do it with my hands. <laughs> you stop. Mimic. Well, we, what do we do first? Do we open that last? Do all the accessories first and then there's a big... Look at these beauties. Oh yeah. Damn. Oh yeah. So much easier. There's not like the there's, little wires to pump yeah, away. Yeah, wires. You shock yourself and blow up. <laughs> well, I don't know if we're blowing up. But... They're not very heavy. No. Up the way to the old light bulbs. Oh yeah. Cool. Now they say in the videos you could. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. It's, it do you want to stand on it like they did? Go ahead and hurt ourselves. It is so. Keep your hands uh, like really in place nicely. And this is to get the uh, to the actor's head height. Which is yeah. awesome. You don't have that. Now you're low, holding it at the lens yeah. level. Like you would handheld. Right. right. I mean, I'm walking around handheld like this. You know, that's kind of. I got they, they made this with more surface area, and it actually looks like it's glued in. So it won't slip, right? So when you tilt up, the gimbal doesn't slip down. So that's going to be super nice. I got We made our own toad on a stick, not nearly as pretty as this. Look at that. Pin goes in there. So it's baby pin now. I kind of like our junior one. But yeah, that one's nice too. Toad on a pinky. This is the, this is the oh, that's the whole new controller. It doesn't weigh anything. Well, that's really light too. Here, snap it on there. First time, people, first time. Luckily, Chris, you know, watched all the videos online for 20 days. Right. There it is. And if you want to change ISO, shutter speed, anything, you do it right here. All on the here? camera. It controls the red. Oh you can my run, God. stop, change your iris, or if you're on a you know EF lens. So we don't have to do that powering up the thing and taking no, the cable to, off yeah, and all exactly. that stuff, so I can control it all from here. some curved carbon fiber. There's curved carbon fiber. No more right lines. The gimbal of the future right here. Holy cow. Wow. I don't want to touch it. It's so pretty. Right. 
How quickly are we going to destroy this? Well, they supposedly put a little more beefier torques and everything on it, mm -hmm. so we can uh, we'll put it on a two three wheeled scooter and, yeah, uh, and drive over down. a lot of bumps. <laughs> Oh, f problem, problem. That's nice. This is beautiful in here. I really like that. God, this doesn't mean anything. It's ridiculously light. Look at it. I'll snap it on. We're gonna deploy our weapon in it. New clamps, screwless, toolless, quick release clamps. I like look how many mounting points they have on the bottom of the camera as well now. Yeah, and you store the screws in the in the base plate. I want to see if you can balance this a little quicker. Your balance times need to go up, Chris. <laughs> I mean, 17 seconds, changing from a 32 mil to a 75. You got to be able to beat that. Right. Right. I'll bring it down to hopefully 10 by, okay, by the end of today. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Here's, here's what's really like the big new thing about this. Is this brain down here. You have P-tap. Two P-tap outputs. The camera output and then an auxiliary. So this is a 6 amp output. That's a 2 amp output. Time code. P can and so do we have these are all just interfacing with the cameras. Power to P tap? Yeah, they sent us a whole bag of cables oh, there. Great. You also have your focus iris zoom connectors and then a USB uh, port. So it's all internal now. All the wiring is internal. Yeah, it's all behind this plate. Through this ribbon. Over molded here. So what the other thing you can do too is, you know, to flip the old movie, I had to do this. And then we had to flip the image. Now I think all you do is, oops, oops, all you do is this. So the gimbal itself flips and your camera stays upright. Everything stays upright. Ah. Oh. And they said that the gimbal, the pan gimbal and the, the tilt gimbal are, are beefier as well. Correct? Yeah, I think it's double the pan strength. You see they made this motor uh, larger, it's deeper. Okay. And then I think these ones also have increased. I'm not sure if they're doubled or not. It looks like this connection point back here, they made a lot beefier on the pan. So when you put weight on the gimbal, you don't get that flex. Right. right. It feels much more rigid than the 15. This is beautiful. All right, let's, let's get this built. Let's build this. Let's put a weapon on this thing and dial it in. This? It feels a little heavier than the M15, but what you gotta keep in mind is you're saving that battery weight, right? So, do we have a scale? Like camera battery weight. You're saving the camera battery weight. So even once you put these on, one, two. You know, there's a little weight to it. I think overall, the weight's gonna come out to pretty much the same. Um, but with this, you get more torque and all this extra stuff, so. Yeah, here's the new plate too. The old plate had a footprint like this. I mean, it was similar, but a little different. The new plate's like the M5, a little wider, which is gonna be good, because you're gonna have a more sturdy mounting point. It's not gonna work with all the accessories, which is fine, it's the, the cost of innovating. But that feels like a much more sturdy uh, lock. Sure. You're trying to get a head start, I see that. I didn't know that you were supposed to like, <laughs> okay. oh, do I need to like separate <laughs> this so we can? All right. Sure. Ready, right. set, go. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> done. <laughs> God, an obvious winner. <laughs> Yay! And I've done this like thousands of times, so I have practice. Never done this. Before. Never done this before. Brilliant. Okay, let's get all these batteries charged. Which one would you feel comfortable walking into an airport with? <laughs> C4? This one goes through the scanner and looks like a bomb. This one goes through the scanner and looks like... A battery. 
I don't know, a drill battery. <laughs> yeah, it looks totally harmless. So it's just a plastic plate with the two contacts. So easy. And this one doesn't lock, it's just a friction lock. So it's locked, you don't actually you have to use this. Just pull it out, that's nice. 1.8 amp hour, 22.2 volts, 6S. See ya. <laughs> I put the monitor down here because I think when you're holding it like this, it's nice to have the monitor there as opposed to up high. Uh, then the tear deck place when I decided to put on the back here because you have a PTAP output here and one on the sled. The sled is going to power the single channel or your file focus, but I didn't want to run a power cable here. So I'm going to try doing this, see how that works. Um, and keep the tear deck back there. But here's what I want to show you. We're in underslung right now, and the way they built this, you can flip to overslung like this. Camera's still vertical, straight up, but now you're in overslung mode. So you can still grab it down here, you can grab it here. All right, very first Movi battery hot swap. Left mm. side is lower. Just gonna pull it. But let me. Plug the LCD in so we can see if the camera stays powered. Here's another favorite feature. Pause motors. It's the kill button. So now I can balance, change your lens, and activate motors. You're done. Let's just turn it on real quick, too. Powering on. Two seconds, flat. Movi Auto-Tune. Here's the best noise. Done. It sounds like when you're in your basement of a East, somebody... East Coast house and the, uh, the hot water is flowing through the pipes. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> this thing is so much more rigid than the 15. It, it actually takes some effort to, to push. There's stew. I'm gonna go to the FreeFly app, the new Moby Pro app, see if I can connect to this thing. Connect, Moby Pro, connection pending. Oh my God, that was fast. Let's go to my Majestic, set my smoothing up, tilt smoothing, and smoothing, pan window, pan, tilt window. Angle. Okay, that was really quick. Now here's the real test. If I quit the app, open it. Very fast. Oh my god. That's beautiful. A little too much smoothing. Oh, look at that. It, it stayed connected. I didn't even have to reconnect. Bring my smoothing down. Done. Easy tuning. I can play around a little bit with that. Just raise them up, see what happens. Gotta write my settings. Proceed.
Cut. Up full. Camera control. Putting the movie pro to bed for tonight. More playing tomorrow. So far, so good. I love it. It's awesome.